Good morning. Welcome to the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Still dealing with some mostly cloudy skies out there with uh, some scattered low clouds, but a uh, broken deck around 25,000 feet, but a few spots of some blue sky at the moment. Temperature right around 78 degrees, and we have some south winds uh, right around 10 to 11 knots at the moment. If we take a look at the surface analysis from this morning, we do have some High pressure in an area that would be moving out, and we have that disturbance up to the northwest that will be diving into the region as we get into the late afternoon and evening hours. And we will continue to have an unsettled weather pattern as we go throughout the week with a few boundaries moving through as well as some upper level dis disturbances moving through to the upper level flow, uh, kind of diving into the area for much of the week, keeping chances of rain pretty much every day as we go throughout the work week. We look at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding. We start off a south southwesterly near the surface, uh, becoming more westerly. And then at 9,000 feet, we have some north northwesterly winds and then coming back to west northwesterly. We have our peak wind around 25,000 feet at 30 knots. The freezing level is at 21,149 feet. Looking at the current visible satellite and composite radar, we can see that disturbance off to the northwest continuing to move into the region. And we have seen in the last hour or two those showers that have popped up out ahead of the system. So we'll see, uh, depending on how fast they move into the area and how much cloud cover we deal with today, uh, good, a, a slight chance of seeing those move into the area again as we get into the afternoon hours. Uh, if they're able to hold it together. If we take a look at the short-term high-resolution model, it is looking like a better chance that some of those storms will hold together. If we take a look at this model, we see the clouds in the area, and then that disturbance starts to move in as we get to the uh, 18 local time and pushes on through and most of the way out of here uh, by the midnight hour with maybe a few sprinkles left over. Otherwise, we should see things dry out and break up a little bit as we go throughout the first part of the day for Wednesday. And then as we get into Wednesday afternoon, we'll have another chance for some afternoon showers um, and a better chance as we get into uh, the evening hours for Wednesday and overnight. As you can see, these firing up uh, late in the afternoon and continuing to hang around as we go in through the overnight hours. And then the Thursday morning, uh, we should see things uh, pause for a bit, rain-wise, and then we'll see another chance of some, again, some more disturbed weather as we go into uh, our Thursday afternoon. So starting off, this would be Thursday morning, zooming out. This is the European model. Can we see some continued chances of rain as we go into our Thursday? And as we go into Friday, we see an upper-level trough start to dig in uh, to our north with a low-pressure system that will drop uh, better or stronger boundary across the area, bringing us a good chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we go into Friday afternoon and evening. And depending on where that boundary stalls out, a little dis disagreement between the Euro and the GFS. The Euro has it pushing out of here and things clearing up for and drying up out for su Saturday. Uh, GFS a little slower, we're getting that rain out of here. Otherwise, that will eventually push out of here and then we'll see some uh, quieter conditions as we get into the end of the weekend and beginning of next week. So looking at the 24-hour weather risk chart, we do have some yellow risk as we get into the late afternoon and early part of the evening, again with that disturbance moving into the area. Uh, so we do have yellow for precip and lightning, as well as we could see, we'll likely see the southerly winds pick up as we go into the afternoon. 10 to 15 knots gusting to 20 and then as that disturbance move in, moves into the area we can see some stronger gusts and a little bit pick up in the a little bit of a pickup in the wind with uh, so we do have that yellow for uh, the chance of seeing winds above 25 knots so slight chance of seeing maybe a wind advisory as we get into that time frame and we do have the yellow risk for those reduced ceilings and visibilities as well uh, with those uh, chances of showers and storms then again, we'll see those clear out of here likely after midnight, uh, remaining cloudy, temper 
uh, mostly cloudy as we go through the morning hours. Uh, high today, expecting to get into the low eight, low to mid 80s. Expecting a high around 84, and we'll see things only cool down to about 74 as we go through the overnight hours. So a fairly mild night uh, with the average being around 69. And again, those winds will lighten up a bit, becoming more southwesterly to westerly as we get into the morning on Wednesday. Next couple of days, Wednesday, expect most, another mostly cloudy overcast day, and then we'll have that chance for those showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. And we'll see those chances increase as we go into the evening hours. Slightly breezy, and then expecting a high of 92, so probably the warmest day of the week. And we do have those yellows for those chances of storms and showers, as, uh, as well as those reduced ceilings and visibilities. Wednesday night looks to be a better chance of seeing those uh, showers and thunderstorms with a low of 73 did bump it up to an orange risk for precip otherwise yellow for lightning and reduced ceilings and visibility again as we go into thursday we'll see another cloudy day with a chance of some lingering morning showers and then another chance of things kicking off as we get into the afternoon hours thursday with a high of 85 looking at the extended forecast again as you can see keep those chances of rain in the area as we go throughout the rest of the week and into the beginning of the weekend. Thursday, another cloudy. I just mentioned chance of showers and storms. Uh, but again, as we get into Friday, we'll have that boundary moving into the area with a slightly better chance of seeing some more widespread uh, showers and thunderstorms. High of 87 for our Friday. Uh, as we go into Friday evening, expecting a low of 71 with, a, again, depending on where that uh, front stalls or if it continues to push through and clears the area we could see some uh, showers and thunderstorms lingering around uh, into our Saturday uh, otherwise Saturday be mostly cloudy again we'll have a slight chance of rain for Saturday and a high of 84 going into Sunday we should see things dry out and clear up a bit with a low Sunday morning around 68 and a high around 81 so we'll see things cool off if, after that front pushes through the area Sunday evening, expecting a low around 67, and as we go into Monday, another partly cloudy day, a high around 83. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.